Well, guys, Spider-Man No Way Home is here after a long, and I mean long and frustrating road to get to this film. For everybody involved, and especially the fans, it's good to hear that the reaction to the film so far has been through the roof. From the reviews we've seen so far, to the crowd reaction. And according to reports, the reaction from the crowd is on the level to the Avengers Endgame, Avengers Assemble moment. So of course, with a film like Spider-Man No Way Home trying to do so much, undoubtedly there still will be people that are not pleased with the end product. I've talked about this on the weekly podcast we do, and I've talked about it in terms of how the general audiences can perceive something, and even sometimes the fans. And it's not always a guarantee. You know, if you look at Avengers Endgame, most of us had that great reaction. I personally know two people. They're married. They absolutely hated Avengers Endgame and had no reaction to the Avengers Assemble scene. None. They hated it. They prefer Age of Ultron in the first Avengers film way more than anything the Russo brothers have done. So to them, when they hear about the Avengers moment, they're like, oh, well, that, that's, a, that's an exception. That's not us. But we've all seen, we had that reaction. There's always the people that don't. But of course, the most hardcore of hardcore fans that love this have that standing ovation, screaming, cheering moment. So if you're looking for that, it looks like you're going to get exactly that. Because <laughs> what we're hearing is that the screening and then as the rollout of Spider-Man continues, that there is that moment. People freaking out, cheering, screaming, crying. It's the Avengers Endgame moment. Some people are saying that this is on par, if not slightly louder than Avengers Endgame, depending on where you're at. And again, I 100% believe it. Why wouldn't I believe it? I mean, you know, without going into anything and without looking at it, this was always going to be the case if they just decided to hold back on the big reveal, right? The big Spider-Man reveal. And it looks like that is going to pay off. And again, even if you don't follow everything, you kind of suspected that it's going to happen. You expected that moment to be in the film. And when it happens, you're probably going to, you know, just freak out. You can't believe it's actually happening. You're going to have that emotional moment, especially if you've been somebody that's been invested in all the Spider-Men so far. Like, you know, me, for example. I don't know how many times I've told the story of how important Spider-Man 1 and 2 were to me at that time when I was in school and like, you know, you were bullied. I would wear a Spider-Man shirt, get bullied, right? All the time. Now everybody wears Spider-Man shirts. It's like common, but it was different back in the day. So that emotion is going to translate to people watching the film. And I cannot wait to experience that and just see what it's all about. Because, you know, emotion, nostalgia, it all combines into this type of end result. And I absolutely love it, which is exactly why you always got to go to those, you know, first showings with the most hardcore of hardcore fans, because the emotion just, it, it just, you know, it hits your body and you can't control it. And that's special to me. So let's enjoy it. Let's, let's wait for the moment we all believe we know is in there, but until we see it, we're not 100% convinced. <laughs> 